Hello, I'm Michael Rashad, and in this short video we're going to show you a couple of fun things to do with radio buttons that you might not have thought about. Now, a radio button is derived from a value list, and a radio button only allows you to select one value at a time. And in order to deselect an option, you either have to shift click on that option, which a lot of people don't know, or you have to have a button to clear the selection. But I think you'll find this is a better solution. When you click on a category, it displays all the subcategories for that category. When you click on a category, which are consumable part or tires and wheels, you see all the subcategories for that option. But if you click on all, you see all of the subcategories. So you can select a subcategory independently of a category. If we click on consumable, these are the subcategories for consumable. And if we click on tires and wheels, we have two subcategories. And if we click on all, we have all of them. Now we're going to cover how this is done shortly. Let's look at these options here. Now, this is actually two sets of radio buttons, one with the values from the categories table and another one which just has a value of all. And when we click on a selection, it selects that and deselects all. And when we click on all, it deselects the section. And this is a very simple script. So if we go into layout mode and we look at script triggers here, you'll see there are two fields here, one above the other. So it looks like it's just one set of radio buttons, but it's not. Now, on here, we have a script trigger set. And this is what happens when we select all. It deselects the subcategory field, which is the one over on the left. It deselects the part ID, which is the item that was selected. It clears the filter for the parts, which we use to filter the list of values. And it sets the flag field, G flag, which is this field here, the one that says all with nothing. Now that happens when we click the all. So it clears the values in the other radio button set. Now on the when we click on now when we click on the all button, it also has a script trigger. Running a different section of the same script. And this is all cats. And what it does is it clears the category field, G category field, and the G subcategory field. And that's all it does. Very, very simple. But it's a much more elegant way, in my opinion, of giving the user a clearly defined choice rather than having them figure out how to clear something you've already selected.